All right, we got the Isariel tribes. Uh, these are the assassins of the galaxy. They're kind of like the Drell from uh, Mass Effect. They, he looks like Gollum as well. Uh, they're kind of, you know, really not a uh, an important race in the galactic scene, but, you know, that's what you kind of expect from a black ops race that's always used for doing other people's dirty work. These guys are definitely uh, uh, use the or cater to the uh, exploit E in the 4X um, attributes. So uh, they start with uh, Retilian and Shellok are their two planets. Um, Retilian is the, the most useful with two resources and three influence, and Shellok has one resource and, and two influence. Um, they start off with a pretty sizable fleet. They got two carriers, five ground force, a PDS, a cruiser, and two fighters. <clears throat> What's really great about their fleet, though, is their starting tech, which is kind of different from the ones you've seen so far with the other races. Um, they start with XRD transporters, so their carriers already have can move two. That's great for expansion. Um, and then they have anti-mass deflectors for moving through asteroid fields. Uh, they also, their racial tech is shuttle logistics, costing three resources. At the start of the status phase, you may choose a system that does not contain any enemy ships. Your ground forces in the chosen system may move to any friendly planet in the same or an adjacent system that does not contain any enemy ships. So these guys are really good at pr uh, proliferating across the galaxy and getting where they need to go. Uh, they're not heavy on politics, they're not heavy on trade, they, you know, again, a decent but meager trade contracts, one, uh, one and a two. Um, their special abilities are, you are allowed to skip your action turn during the action phase. You may not skip two such action turns in a row. So these guys are kind of good at baiting people, and that's part of the exploitation aspect of them, is, um, you know, normally the only way that you can pass is by or skip your turn is by passing, in which case you're out of the game round, and these guys can pass without actually being out. Um, additionally, uh, once during every strategy phase, you may look at one other player's hand of action cards. It's a little espionage there. Uh, and then also you draw one additional action card during every status phase. You are never limited to a hand size of action cards, regardless of the game rules and any active political cards. So these always these guys always have something up their sleeve, basically. Uh, and if you like playing uh, exploitatively, or um, you know, not really a griefing race, but uh, I could definitely see them being so. But if you like the expansion and you, and you like being light on your feet, uh, this is a uh, this is a race for you. All right.